Go to Tech Tuesday, and today we're focusing on how technology is changing the workplace. Our friend Joe Ferriolo, the area general manager from Frontier, joins us live here. Joe, nice to have you. It's good to be back, Teresa. Nice to see you back, too. Thank you. So technology really is changing uh, the way we work. A lot of people can work from work from home. I like that term. <laughs> yeah, it sounds convenient, right? But I think it's an opportunity for employers to get more work hours it's out of legitimate. us. <laughs> it's legitimate. It really is, but it does create convenience for people that can work from home. Mm -hmm. Corporations are enjoying it because it requires less workspace for them. They can do virtual office, and, and it becomes convenient. And, and for a lifestyle standpoint, it, you know, from from like for us, you know, to be home with our kids, be able to sure, do some work, absolutely. finish up the emails, it's a great thing. So it allows more flexibility, but it also requires more internet and robust internet connections at home. Quick internet too, right? <laughs> Quick internet as well, which is obviously something that we're very close and dear to. So, That's right. you know, the, the other things it allows people to do virtual collaborations. And now with uh, video Sky you know, Skyping and GoToMeeting and things like that, you can actually have teleconferences and, and video teleconferences at home. Right. You know, the, you see the commercials with a guy, you know, with a shirt and tie on, but he's sitting there in his pajamas. Yeah, it's okay, <laughs> it doesn't matter, but you could have partners in California, different countries, it all, and everyone can come together. It, it really is, and you know, corporations are looking at it from the standpoint that they can reduce costs, but you know, there's also opportunities in terms of different different types of internet that you need. Mm -hmm. So you need, you need robust band network, you need Wi-Fi in the home, um, you may need a dedicated connection if you're moving large packages, if you're a professor or in the medical profession and you have more data and things like that. Mm -hmm. All things that we certainly can help you with, but it's, it's something that you know you work with and collaborate with your employer to make sure that you're set up properly at home. Sure, let's talk a little bit about social media because originally it was kind of a waste of time, but I gotta tell you, eat to I rely on it every morning to to get my news information to find traffic accidents well, it's yeah, important. Traffic. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, you know, it really has. I mean, it went from being, you know, posting a, a Facebook pictures with your friends to yeah. being able to collaborate on LinkedIn to either look for a job, uh, develop new networking contacts, promote your organization, and build brand image. So whether it's through the, you know, through a LinkedIn type of situation or Instagram or, you know, you know, we're all exchanging Twitters now and some of the things we're doing and just kind of getting your companies out there different ways. But also more on Facebook, you know, you're also able to listen to the voice of your customers. What do they want? Sure. You can connect with them a lot easier sometimes. <laughs> yeah, and, and sometimes in a very robust manner. Um, <laughs> you know, we're no stranger to that. But it, the, the good news is it allows the customer to have a voice. Mm -hmm. And more importantly, allows us to get close, closer to that customer and see what's going on real time. Right, and Frontier is very active in the community. Well, you know, with Facebook, you know, we so, you know some of the things that come up to light are what's going on with, say, Comcast. Mm -hmm. With currently uh, their their dispute with the Yankees, and it's coming up to Yankee Yankee season, and they may not be able to have first pitch. So one of the things that we've been, you know, Comcast said no, we said yes. Mm -hmm. Saying yes to the Yankees, saying yes to our, our Comcast customers that would like to come over. We uh, recently <laughs> had Cecil Fielder at the Connecticut Post Mall. Uh, was signing autographs this past Sunday and uh, inviting new, new folks to come over to, to be friends with us and more importantly sign up for the Yankees and, and watch their baseball this season. There you go and also the Healthy Heart campaign. Uh, I'll tell you what, the, we, um, I was here a couple months ago we announced our campaign for that. We, uh, we, we, we sweetened the deal. Oh, even better. We sweetened the deal. Okay. So originally I was here to say that we would offer a dollar for every new customer that signed up through MyFrontierHasHeart.com. Okay. That one dollar is now a fifty dollar donation. So for every oh, customer that converts through the MyFrontierHasHeart.com website, we will make a fifty dollar donation to the American Heart Association. What a great initiative, right? There you uh, go. It's good stuff. Fantastic, Joe. Thanks for being here on CT Style, thanks, and of course Teresa. the website where we can find some more info. Frontier.com. Pretty easy stuff. Yeah. All right, and stay with us. More CT Style coming your way. Remember, we always want to hear from you. Connect with us: Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.